structuring literature review. This module deals with structuring literature review and critically evaluating the sources. Objectives at the end of this module, you will be able to elaborate on the points to be considered while writing literature review and explain the points to be remembered at the time of evaluating resources. While you are looking at the material for structuring the literature review, you will have to identify the main theme and sub themes initially. Then you can think of the arrangement. It can be two ways or three ways arrangement. First is theme wise. Second is chronological arrangement. Third is chronological and theme wise or theme wise and within that theme chronological. Normally for chronological for the latest topics for example, if the topic is open access, then the latest articles will be first and then it will be the earlier articles will follow. Otherwise, if you want to stress the historical bent or the historical development, then you can give first the earliest and the latest will come later. So, these are the ways you can arrange and structure your literature review chapter. It is important to look at the resources critically and analytically and sometimes together. Thus, you can compare different resources and the views expressed therein. You can critically evaluate the resources like articles and thesis and show the gaps or theories or even the contribution of the authors. Now while doing this, you should always stress the importance of primary sources in your literature review. While critically evaluating the sources, you should always consider the information included and left out by the author and also what were the results presented by the author? Next step is asking yourself and thinking how relevant the source is to the topic of your choice. Asking some questions will provide further clue for your evaluation. These are, are the author's conclusions valid and how rigorously was the data analyzed by the author? Similarly, ask what is the coverage of the topic of the source and how accurate is the information provided in the source you have chosen. Further, we should also think about the recentness or currency of the material. And hence, you should ask when was the material that is book or article or thesis published in which year? After this publication, what more is published on the topic? So ideally, it is said that you can conduct literature search thrice. First, at the time of selection of the topic. Second, when you are in the midway and third, at the end of your thesis while you are at writing stage. Summary. Thus, in this module, we have seen how to structure the literature review and the need for evaluation of the contents of the matter or material which you have chosen for literature review. Thank you.